वेलकम बैक एवरी वन टू द चैनल This is Game Changer X, and we are playing more Sekiro. So in the last episode, we reached the the flower viewing stage idol, and in this episode, we have one mini boss fight coming up. If you remember back, like uh, at the very beginning of Ashina Castle, just before we got into the castle, we had to fight a bull, the raging bull. This time, we are going to fight a divine version of it. so this bull is called sakura bull i think basically instead of fire on its horns this one has the effect of divine confetti so it does additional damage but uh, all the mechanics are like same as the the previous bull So before we get to the bull we are just uh, taking out these archers which are on this roof this is the same area where we killed the other um other waki okami warriors we were on the on the ground this is just the roof of that area okay now to the bull we can already hear it there it is You can see that it has like some kind of effect on its horns. I think that's the divine confetti um effect. So maybe the divine confetti has some relationship with the uh, sakura flowers. That didn't kill him. It took one third of his health though. Come here dude. I'm going to try to not oh man hurt hurts really bad I'm going to try not to lock on and do the same trick as we did as we did with the last bull but uh this one will probably be a little tougher because this guy is a little more aggressive oh see <laughs> we are going merry go round where is he oh shit he has only turned around Even if we block it, it damages us. Oh shit! We are almost dead. We almost got him. Oh shit! Oh no! And he killed me. You are not dead yet. no shit i got him stunned at the same time he killed me so second try let's see this time we didn't try to do that dead blow we still we'll stand and fight obviously with the help of uh, um firecracker oh no so firecracker you have to give some gap between firecrackers otherwise it won't work and if it's charging it doesn't work anyway and god we heal and this guy is so aggressive my sugar buff is going to go away shit okay now we got him but my sugar buff is already gone Even going near him hurts. Okay, that's an that's one way of uh, avoiding his attack. Man, if you don't block his attack, then it takes like less, more than half of your health. Okay, this time we block, but deflect rather. Okay, we got him once more. Beat him down! Beat him down! He stunned. Shit! Got me. Okay. 
Again, we block. I think that's not a bad idea actually to go further away from him so that he charges and then block, take a little bit of damage and then actually hit him on their head. So that seems to do more damage. Man, that really hurt. He's almost done. Oh, he's done. Now he's going for a rampage. And he's going to knock himself out. Okay, we got him. Alright, so with that, I think this side of the, the Fountainhead Palace is done. We'll get another prayer bead? Yes. Let's pick up those items. We have already picked up those items. So now it's time to go across the bridge. We'll go back to the idol, uh, obviously rest, and then venture out onto the other side of the bridge. So there is a whole lot of area here and that huge Sakura tree. Ooh, that's our next boss. Massive carp. It's called a colored carp, I think, or colored great carp. As far as I know, there are quite a lot of uh, those Okami warriors here. We are not going to fight all of them. We'll, we'll just, we are just making our way through this area. So, uh, also there are some, some of those lightning doggos, lightning wolves. So, we are just putting on some shuriken. They'll be handy. Are uh, right here. Take care of these guys. See. There are two of them going down that stairs. And there is another Shichimen warrior. Now I don't really like fighting them. I won't fight this one. But if you fight this one, you actually get, uh, I think, one uh, uh, Lapis Lajuli from him. This guy is relatively easier than the other Shichimen warrior, especially because you will be fighting him in a long rectangular area which is uh, relatively easy to judge where he will appear when he disappears so i won't fight it but uh, i will fight one of the sichiman warrior towards the very end of the game because i need the item he he has to upgrade the whistle oh there is one he almost saw me almost saw me Oops, the other guy saw me. That's what I say. I understand there are like a few types of these walking Wakami warriors. Uh, oh shit, his ball actually. Home Sanji. So these guys are, they throw balls at you. So one of these guys actually on that huge Shakura tree throwing lightning ball at us. We'll, we'll reach him in this episode itself. Um, and then there are these uh, swordsmen and there's the third type which is uh, the archers. The most <laughs> difficult thing is they're annoying because they keep on jumping. How do I get to that side? Looks like I'll have to come from up there, like from the upper platform. Hmm, there are quite a lot of verticality in this area. Um, I'm just passing through. I'm, I'm looking for a way to get up there. I also generally just you know, collect all the loot that I can from this area. Oh, there are more, more warriors here. And there is nothing on this platform as such. So I don't really need to go there.
how do we go up there? Okay, so there are more more of the wolves here. There's some more loot. Uh, you can hear the Sichiman warrior on the other side of this barricade barrier. Yeah, we are not going to fight him. I'm here just to look for loot. That's all. Obviously, you will need all the lapis lazuli you can get to upgrade all your weapons. That the final tier. Who saw me? Oh, one of those guys. You guys can. You guys can play down there. Big boys play up here. Okay, here we go. Finally. Yeah, he lost us. So we need to come here and then go through this frontal structure. And also there is a left structure. But first, we will go back to the upper area to the previous building which we could not cross. Oh, quite a lot of them. I'd say the shuriken is the most used and most useful um, prosthetic tool. I thought it would be the axe, but I haven't used the axe, you know, that much. And you don't come across shielded enemy that that much. Yeah, here it is. Look at that. This is a huge area. So many platforms and there is a huge water area in the middle. Yeah, that's the platform I said that there is nothing. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll use, there is a binocular we picked up, right? Nightjar monocular. So let's use that and see. Now there is actually nothing on that platform. But there is a higher platform. And that platform, that higher platform is just next to the tree. So I think that's where we finally need to end up, the higher platform. Um, oh, another part novel. And this says near part novel. Let's talk to him. Tell me your goods, what do you have? He has two lapis lazuli and a dragon blood droplet. Hmm. Alright, for the time being I'm not going to buy anything from him. Because there is a whole carp uh, quest that we are going to complete. Um, this is the palace it looks like. We cannot go this way. So we have to, oh there are something inside. And you can see the Shichiman warrior down there all his magic bullshit so I think this is the way to progress let's take care of these guys you can just die you don't need uh, you don't need um, poison but there, there was another oh, what's this these look like actually what they used in in mibu village so um, there was another platform towards the left i'm sure you can go to that upper platform on the opposite side but i don't know how i didn't find any hook points so we we are going to continue in this direction Oh, oh! There is some show going on down there. Um, you know what? I don't want to fight these many guys. There are quite a lot of them. So let's uh, hide from them and reach the the next idol using a gutching sugar. I can see the idol in the corner.
I'm like almost invisible. So I just avoided those guys. Doesn't make sense. There are like ten of them total. Um, I tried fighting them and died couple of times. So I just let them go. Great Sakura! Finally, it's time to take care of the guy who has been throwing these lightning balls at us. And he got us. Come on, dude! It's not cool. And he got us again and killed us. We don't know he's a dude or debate, but uh, we got him. Okay, we got his prayer breed, and I think we are like halfway there. So now we can get into the water and actually can dive and go uh, go for a swim. But before we do that, there's a couple of items here at the bottom of the tree itself. Let's collect that. And our aim is to actually reach this platform towards the left. But you cannot directly go there from the water. So that's why we need to take a roundabout way, come through the castle to that area. Now once, once we have collected these, now let's uh, drop down to the water, here, more loot, bulging coin purse, awesome. So as soon as we drop down, we'll go to the very bottom because there is a, I think there is a prayer bead here. Problem is there is another headless down here. There are quite a lot of carps in this area, but I'm not going to spend time to, to kill all the carp. Instead, I'm looking for um, another prayer bead down here. Problem is there is a pair of headless, basically a single headless and a, a ghost headless together. Yeah, you can already see the ghost headless. It's the white thing towards the left. And you can also see the other headless. Like These two together uh, create quite a lot of problems. So we don't want to fight them. We hate headlesses. We are here for this this thing this is the prayer bead we wanted oh man what happens to the frame rate oh man these guys almost got me i'm out of here i hate their their terror attacks and i've avoid, avoided uh, fighting any of the headlesses i tried a couple of them uh, at the very end of the game i think i'll have to fight a six human warrior otherwise i won't fight them they really suck the the Terror mechanism is really it's not worth it. It's like there is a gauge which if fills up you are dead. It's like what? What about my skills and stuff? Anyway. So we collected the prayer bead and uh, that's it. Carpi! Carpi! No, he ran away. I completely lost my direction, like which way I'll have to go. I think we'll have to go through this like, no, this is not that hard. Okay, we will jump up and then reorient ourselves. This is the, the great Sakura tree. Okay. And... Actually, we are back to where we started this whole area from. So, in fact, towards the right is the area we started from, and towards the left is a platform that we are trying to get to, which is our final destination. But there is a lady here, so so it's a it's the same lady, or maybe her sister, um, whom we met, who actually told us not to go through that courtyard. Yeah, it's the same lady. Young man, do you happen to be going to the palace? Yes. If you are, you should take the back path. Nowadays, it's underwater. But there is a large cave you can take to get there. Only, I hear the great carp now sleeps there. Okay, so basically we need to go through the great carp. 
I think we can we should talk to her once more. Why are you helping me? The gates to the palace have been closed for a long time now. I have a very important task I must tend to. But I couldn't possibly do it with this body of mine. Might you open the door to the palace, young man? Yeah, we'll do that, lady. That's the palace, actually. So let's get through this area, through the Great Carp sleeping, sleeping area, and reach the next idol, the back side of the palace. And that's why we will end this episode. Oh, oh look at the size of that thing! Oh! Scary. like it broke through this whole area okay so you'll have to run from it or you'll have to hide from it there is some loot at the bottom but that's bait for you it's like if you go towards the bottom the great cup will come and eat you as simple as that so instead just stick to these inside areas oh it's ours oh look at that one attack took like 80% of my health Heal, heal. Okay. Is it gone? Where do you go? Oh, it's not gone. It's still trying to attack us. It's still trying to eat us. It's like food. Oh, we go down. Uh, finally, it gave up. It's basically, it's rocking that full structure. Okay. I think this is the path. Alright, as soon as we reach the idol, that's where we'll end this episode. Hopefully you guys are liking it. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more Sekiro. We are almost done. I think we we have like four or five more episodes. Yeah, I've been looking for the path for quite a while. Here it is. Game changer, it's out. 